Welcome to Pharmaceutical Technologies Podcast, the integrated approach to drug development and manufacturing. This podcast is brought to you by Pyramol Pharma Solutions, a global CDMO offering end-to-end solutions across the drug life cycle. To find out more, please go to www.pyramolpharmasolutions.com. And now, here's your host for this podcast, the Senior Editor of Special Projects for Pharmaceutical Technology, Amber Lowry. Hi, everyone. This is Amber Lowry, the Senior Editor of Special Projects for Pharmaceutical Technology, and I'm here with Kevin Duffield, Global Head of Project Management at Permal Pharma Solutions. Thank you for being here today, Kevin. Thank you, Amber. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Great. So let's get started. So, Kevin, how would you define an integrated services program? Amber, at Pyramol, we have 14 manufacturing sites located around the world. Those sites typically specialize in one form of service to the pharma sector, like API active ingredient manufacturing or solid oral dose or sterile fill finish. For Pyramol, an integrated program uh, is a program where we use multiple sites to satisfy the needs of a single client program. Great, and what are the advantages or benefits of an integrated services program to the sponsor? Well, the advantages for the sponsor are reduced business complexity. They have a single partner to help them work through the various program elements. It's possible uh, with an integrated project that you can see timeline compression because you can sometimes take away complexities of shipments and movement of materials between sites. Another advantage is, is, is that you have a single project team covering the project, allowing for efficiencies uh, in relationship and project management. And I think a final advantage is because you're now concentrating your business with your partner, you have a much more strategic relationship between the parties that allows uh, for more focus uh, and attention by the provider to your needs. Kevin, why is the ability to conduct an integrated services program important in today's market? So Amber, it's, it's kind of an old story, but speed to market is still a primary driver for new products being brought to market. And integration allows for the opportunity to overlap activities and increase speed. Another factor is that a lot of the biotech firms are making decisions to take their products directly to patients rather than selling off their assets once the concepts are proven. So these companies are looking for partners who can help provide the broad technical, regulatory, and commercial capabilities to have one relationship take them to market in the shortest possible time. Another aspect is uh, surety of supply. As products become commercial, making sure that we supply is never interrupted requires multiple manufacturing and redundant manufacturing sites. And large organizations with integrated programs can transfer those technologies internally and provide that surety of supply with with backup manufacturing. So from a client's perspective, what barriers do they need to overcome before committing to an integrated program? Well, in an integrated program, you're putting more of your project's activities at one supplier. And so the internal team at the sponsor needs to be aligned around the model and broad relationship and kind of the concept of all their eggs in one basket. Um, this is kind of a newer concept in, in kind of the history of CDMO businesses. Uh, it's a strategic relationship rather than a tactical one as in the past. What does PPS offer in integrated programs that makes its offering especially valuable to the customer? So what Pyramol has a system whereby each of our sites have a project management team that facilitate the execution and client communications uh, for that particular site's activities. At Pyramol and the integrated programs, we add another layer of program managers who are very senior people at managing projects and managing client relationships. They make sure that our site business is aligned in a single plan and provide an escalation point for the client 
should interconnections need to be improved. In addition, because these are large pieces of business, we have periodic business review meetings with the client that always involve uh, our senior managers at Pyramal. We view these as strategic relationships and treat them as such in terms of management time and oversight uh, relating to our clients' expectations and our delivery performance. In some cases, these integrated programs offer access to some unique technologies that Pyramol have, particularly in the space of antibody drug conjugation and fill finish, uh, and now most recently in, in the peptide synthesis area, where we can put together unique programs across uh, technologies to make drug substances, bring them to dosage form at another site. Excellent. And finally, looking ahead, what does the future look like for integrated service programs? Are there more or less coming, different formats, et cetera? Yeah, I think, you know, going back a few years in 2005, for example, there were integrated offerings that were early into the market. The early providers pretty much fell on deaf ears. The market wasn't ready for that kind of model. It was more, uh, let me find the best, best in class and I'll, I'll, have, I'll do six transactions rather than one. I think by 2015, most of the major CDMOs had some sort of integrated offering that they marketed and were trying to, to align with the needs as the market came to the realization they could save time and perhaps money by going this way. I think by 2025, we'll continue to see growth. We'll continue to see companies such as Pyramol add new uh, technical capabilities or additional sites that complement the others and allow us to put more integrated programs together. Um, we'll also begin to see uh, the emergence of true integrated uh, practices where we don't just have an integrated project plan, but we begin to look at how our sites can work together to take time and redundant work out as projects move from one stage to another. So I definitely see a growth coming in the integrated market opportunity for us. That's great to hear. Thank you for that informative overview, Kevin. We truly appreciate you being here today. Thank you, it's been my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Great, this has been Amber Lowry, the Senior Editor of Special Projects for Pharmaceutical Technology, and thanks to all for listening. You've been listening to Pharmaceutical Technology Podcast, the integrated approach to drug development and manufacturing. This podcast is brought to you by Pyramol Pharma Solutions a global CDMO offering end-to-end -end solutions across the drug life cycle. To find out more, please go to pyramolpharmasolutions.com.